These researchers are looking for ways to keep the Dunk River and other waterways healthier by looking at the crops growing nearby. Scientists have been measuring nitrogen levels in the river for six years now. High nitrogen have uh, multiple uh, effects. It can influence the health of the river and it create uh, uh, um, algae bloom and drinking water contamination. Uh, so it, it is a concern here in PEI. There are potato fields all around the Dunk River, grown in rotation with other crops, including red clover. We find out that the, uh, the red clover create a lot of nitrogen uh, to in, into the system. We find out that if we can uh, replace that with something, bring less nitrogen into the system. The research looked at planting soybeans instead of red clover as a way to reduce the nitrogen levels. The soybeans can also be sold as a cash crop. And we do that test and we put it in our, our model. We find out that if all the, the red clover and then the forage is, is replaced by the soybean, it can reduce nitrogen loading in the system by 17 percent. And there was another benefit. Research by a scientist with the Federal Department of Fisheries found the drop in nitrogen levels could also lead to a reduction of damaging sea lettuce in a nearby waterway. And we fit that number, that reduction into uh, his estuary model. We find out that that can reduce the uh, sea lettuce in the estuary by about uh, 24 percent. Over the long term, we, we hope it might uh, even improve further. 24% uh, is, um, it, it's a large number uh, for sure, a large, a large reduction. Now the researchers are trying to spread the word to farmers of the potential benefits of switching from red clover to soybeans and similar crops, but admit it's complicated. This uh, rotation is a, uh, in our view, it's a, it's a positive one, and how far the farmer will take it, I think there's, there's a lot of, to consider. These researchers hope to continue their work around the Dunk River, looking for ways to produce healthy crops and healthier water. Nancy Russell, CBC News, Central Bedeck.